you're probably, well, you might not, but you're probably wondering what might think. Since I talked about lots of movies I hate, you probably wonder what are my top worst movies. Well, I don't technically have a top ten, but I have a top five. And we'll, only three of them I talked about, well, no, wait, four of them I talked about, but one was on my old channel. And let's get started on the list, All right. My number five is Master of Disguise. Now, I wouldn't call this movie horrendous, but it is a terrible film. It's not really funny, it's really annoying, and it's just poorly written, poorly acted, and it's just overall not a very good movie. So, and not, I didn't really laugh once. I, it just wasn't a very good movie to watch. So, number five is Master of Disguise. Alright, uh, number four is Furry Vengeance. Yeah, now this is where we get into the horrible movies. Yeah, this was just downright horrible. It was not funny at all. It it only had like 2% potential. And it just overall, there's lots of scenes that were just disgusting. The CG on the animals were horrible. The acting was horrendous. And the writing has got to be some of the worst right movie writing ever. So, yeah, I really hate this movie. Number four is Furry Vengeance. Alright, uh, now number three is Batman and Robin. Yeah. See, I'm wearing a Batman shirt. Yeah. This movie, is, that shows how much I worship Batman. This movie is a downright insult to Batman and everything Batman related. Well, I haven't seen the Dark Knight movies, and I don't really plan to. And it's just, the acting wasn't very good, and the characters are terrible. The The jokes are probably some of the worst oh, I've seen in a action movie. Heck, it's probably, it's definitely the worst action movie I've seen ever. I even hated it when I was a little kid. Alright, so number three is Batman and Robin. Now here's where we now here's where we get to the major danger, as I call it. Number two is Drop Dead Freddy. Yeah, this movie is just it's very unfunny. Not, not, none of the jokes were funny at all. The acting was very I do like Phoebe Cakes. I liked her in Gremlins and Gremlins is one of my favorite movies of all time. And I do like Rick Mail, he is funny. But they're both not good good in this movie. Rick Mail's just so annoying in this movie. The jokes were just awful. The writing's awful. Everything about this movie's awful. I I, I can't even believe I survived through this movie. So and I heard that they're making a remake of this with Russell Brand as Drop Dead Fred. And I don't know what to think of this. I hate this movie. It was very unfunny. And I I can't believe it's not considered one of the worst movies ever made. And it gets a 9% on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, it gets a 9% on Rotten Tomatoes. So I know that's a really bad score, but I, I would rate it even lower. It's, it's it has a worse score than Master of Disguise, which sometimes you can't really trust Ryan Smith. So, yeah, number two is Drop Dead Fred. Okay, are you ready for number one? The worst movie I've ever seen. The Fred movie. Yes, this is number one. This movie is so bad, I can't believe I survived it. Really. Even the first ten seconds, I couldn't stand. It has no plot, no character development, no funny jokes. Nothing in this movie is good at all. I would ran on it more, but if you want to see my full-length review of the Fred movie, go watch it on my channel. Alright, so... Just in case if you forgot, number five, Master of Disguise. 
Number four is Free Vengeance. Number three is Batman and Robin. Number two is Drop Dead Fred. And number one is Still Striking Me.